Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing a what's new at the drugstore and I'm not sure I've ever been this overwhelmed to film a video. I have so much new stuff in front of me. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to even get through it all because for example I have four mascaras so I'm only going to be able to test two but I want to show them to you guys. I have not been able to test all of this makeup because there's so much so this is largely going to be a first impression video. We've got so much to get through, so much goodness so let's go ahead and get right into it. Also just an FYI I'm trying new press on nails right now and they're really cute and trendy like the nude white pattern but they're already driving me crazy because they're just too long and I'm regretting putting them on before I have to use my hands a lot. If I'm doing things really awkwardly this is why I'm not made for long nails. I don't know how people do this. Alright so first up I have two primers to try. The first one is by Essence. This is called the Hello Good Stuff face primer with caring hemp seed oil with 98% natural ingredients. So this has no silicone and no parabens. It claims to be a moisturizing formula for your skin and provide a healthy looking complexion. So I'm gonna try this out on one side of my face. And the other new primer is something that I'm really interested in. This is the Revlon Color Stay Grip. It claims to provide 16 hours of wear time and it's a mattifying primer. It has a superfood detox blend to shield the skin from daily pollutants and control sebum. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the new Essence Primer. This comes out looking a lot like a moisturizer. Let's see how it feels on the skin. Ooh, it feels like cooling and very moisturizing, but it does have quite a fragrance to it. It is really smoothing though. It does look like it has added fragrance, but it's the last ingredient. So just an FYI if that bothers you. But first impression, this feels really nice. It feels really soft and moisturizing, which will be interesting to see how it compares to the other side, which is supposed to be the opposite. It's supposed to be very mattifying. So this comes out looking like a mattifying primer. It's a little bit more on the transparent side. It doesn't look just like a moisturizer. It looks like a sheer, kind of like a, the e.l.f. Jelly Pop or, ooh, this feels interesting because it goes on feeling kind of oily, if anything, but we'll see if it dries down. And don't mind my new friend that I had a battle with and lost. It still feels really almost like greasy on this side. I definitely prefer the way that this side feels to the Revlon one. But let's give it a minute to dry down. While it's drying down, I wanna show you guys some new skincare from Neutrogena that I clearly need right now um, that I'm about to start testing. And there's three different variations. This first one is a 7% AHA PHA blend with hyaluronic acid. It claims to be smoothing and replenishing. And on all of these, it says what skin type it's made for. So this one says it's made for dry skin and that it's fragrance free. So it's got those exfoliating ingredients, but it also has hyaluronic acid. So it's dry skin friendly. And the other two are the 9% AHA PHA blend. This one does not have hyaluronic acid and it has a higher blend of acid. This is made for normal to combination skin, also fragrance free. And then the last one is a 7% glycolic citric acid blend made for oily skin that's supposed to be smoothing and clarifying. Again, fragrance free. I like that for people that aren't super into skincare or don't know where to start, they've classified each one by skin type so you know kind of which one to pick up for your specific skin. Okay, so this has definitely dried down to more of a matte finish. I feel like next time I would use a little bit less product um, and maybe avoid that feeling. And speaking of matte, Maybelline also launched a new whipped matte makeup. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Whipped Matte Makeup. So the Instant Age Rewind glowy 4-in-1, you know, the twist-up applicator went viral as a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. And I think they're kind of building off of that with another version that is made for oily skin. So this claims to be a primer, concealer, powder, and BB cream in one. It claims to blur pores, mattify, conceal blemishes, even skin tone, all with light coverage. And it says to apply with fingers all over the face. So let's check this out. Before I go in with that, I'm gonna take my Flower Beauty concealer right here and my Sephora concealer brush and just cover my little friend before I start. Cause this has light coverage, so it's not going to fully cover what I am dealing with right now. And I find that putting like a heavy concealer underneath your base can leave you with the most natural finish. It comes out like a very whipped texture. Let's see where it gets us. 
Interesting. It feels very silky smooth. It is a nice matte finish. It looks like I've already powdered. I would say the shades run kind of deep. This is light medium and I feel like it's a pretty decent match for me. And I'm usually more of like a medium, medium tan. So first impression of this, honestly I'm not a huge fan. I can kind of see some like lines and patches this is already sticking to and I just put it on. Something this matte isn't usually flattering on my skin because I do have some texture. So I can't say that, at least first impression, this is my favorite. Next up is a new concealer by Revlon. This is the Revlon Skin Awakened Concealer with Caffeine and Vitamin C. It has 24 hour wear and claims to be a five in one concealer. Lots of claims with all this stuff. Claims to erase, perfect, brighten, hydrate, and refresh. And I got mine in the shade 001, which is Universal Neutralizer. I'm just gonna squeeze and the product comes out pretty easily. Got quite a bit actually. I'm gonna put it wherever I feel like I need to conceal. Cause this foundation has really light coverage so I'm kind of going a little heavy handed with the concealer more so than I would if I had like a medium coverage foundation on. Ooh, I look at this up close. I really like the way that it's blending. Even on top of this like super matte foundation, I feel like it's trying to look pretty skin-like. I would say two things I'm noticing right off the bat. It has really light coverage. Ooh, okay, changing my mind quickly here. My eye kind of feels like it's burning and I don't have particularly sensitive eye area. I use a ton of different concealers, but something about this I think is kind of irritating my skin. You guys see my eyes like turning red. This is really irritating my skin for some reason as I continue blending it in. I mean, it's not like painful, but I wouldn't use this again. We were off to a good start there. And then do you guys see the coverage isn't great? You can kind of still see everything coming through and it's sort of like bunching up right here. Not very flattering. The main thing for me is that it's like burning a little bit. So we are not off to a hot start here, you guys. I can't say I've loved anything that I've tried so far. I'm gonna take my True Skin Concealer and just go over that so that I get the coverage that I need because I know I love this stuff. Okay, so that fixed it a little bit, but I'm not loving the way that my complexion looks right now because of the foundation and the concealer. So let's hope we have better luck with the powder. I'm going to, for under my eyes, go ahead and powder with my number seven because this powder looks to be a little bit dark, so I'm not gonna use it under my eyes. Okay, so the new powder that I wanna try for the rest of my face is this Revlon Colorstay Matte Setting Powder. Again, claims 16 hour wear and that Superfood Detox Blend. I got mine in the shade one. It's interesting packaging. So you lift this whole thing up and the powder is in here. So there's like a little barrier from when you open the top to where you get to the powder. So that's kind of nice. All right, I'm just gonna take my Wet n Wild brush and go ahead and apply this. This has a little bit of like a cool undertone to it. A really good job of mattifying. Even though this foundation was already matte, I can see that this is kind of airbrushing it where it did not look airbrushed on its own. The first impression of this powder, I really do like it. It feels really silky smooth and I really like the packaging. So that's the first thumbs up so far, but I'll keep you guys posted obviously as I use it with other foundations that I like more. Before we go to the brows, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lips for lipstick by using this Lottie London Sweet Lips Mask and Balm. I have a few varieties of this. This is their My Little Pony collection, which I'm gonna be trying other things from that collection. This is Future Pop Star. Then this one is Cinnamon, which I think is really fun for the holidays. And I have been testing these and I love them for a mask to sleep in on your lips or to wear throughout the day. They're super moisturizing. They feel amazing and I love the smell of the cinnamon one. These are new from Lottie London, especially the My Little Pony one was just released and I love, especially for this time of year, my lips get so dry and I've been sleeping in those. All right, next up is a new brow product by Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Lift Stick. Okay, so let's see how you're supposed to do this because it comes with 
this big applicator, very thick, and then this little brush where you blend. So I think what I'm going to do is take my, this is my L'Oreal brow pencil, and define my shape and then use this to just fill it in. Okay, so I'm really excited about this. This looks really cool. And I got mine in the shade 255, which is soft brown. It looks like a nice ashy color. So I'm just going to... Ooh, it's like a wax that puts them in place and also defines them. I feel like this is a perfect product for the brow trend that's going on right now, which is like very lifted, brushed brow look. But you can see it's kind of messy because it's so thick, so I'm going to go back in with concealer to clean it up, but I'm really impressed by this. It's like a wax with pigment, and then the brush on the other side is perfect. Those, that laminated brow look. This is really cool. This is really innovative. It's been a while since I've tried a brow product that I thought was innovative, and this is definitely checking that box. All right, I'm feeling a little pale, so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up with my Maybelline City Bronzer. And I love this AOA Studio brush. This is F20. I've had this for years, um, and it's a dollar. It's one of my favorite bronzer brushes. All right, and then for blush, I have a new blush, a new little tiny blush from Lottie London. This is their new ombre blush in the shade Exposed. So I'm gonna just dust this on my hand. I'm glad that I did, because it's pretty pigmented. Ooh, this is really pretty. And it's like the perfect level of pigment if you just take a tiny bit on your brush. And I really like this color. I'm slowly fixing the complexion here. Now that I look at this in a close-up mirror, there's actually a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can see. It's really subtle, but really pretty. Really, really pretty and cute little size to throw in your purse. All right, next up for eyeshadow, I have their two new launches. They're My Little Pony eyeshadow palettes. One is Friendship is My Jam and the other one is Only Dance on Days Ending with Y. Those are so cute. This one has a little bit more like blue green tones and then this one has more like orange and purple. So I think I'm going to go with the orange and purple one. All right, so I'm going to start out with kind of a mixture of these two in my crease. blending really easily and I really like this color combo. It's a really good transition color. And these Sephora brushes just do the blending for you. I'm so bummed they sold out. Put them in my favorites video and then I went to go link them and they were sold out. I was like, no. I really hope that they restock. And then I'm going to take, this is my Wet n Wild brush from the My Melody collaboration. I'm going to take this light pink and put this on my brow bone. And then I think I'm gonna go in with this kind of coral color right here all over my lid with that same brush. It's like a shimmer, glittery color. There's quite a bit of fallout, um, but that could be that glitter layer that kind of sits on top of a lot of these eyeshadows. But it's going on really beautifully. It's a really pretty color. The only thing is I wish there was a deepening color in here because I feel like the shade that I used for my transition is like as deep as it gets and I want to add some more dimension. So that's the only thing I think that is missing in this palette is a nice deepening color. But they do have this really bright color right here that I'm gonna use with a little tiny brush in my inner corner. It's like a champagne shimmer. That is pretty. The other thing I'm gonna try out is their new gel liners. It's the part of the My Little Pony collection. They've got some really vibrant colors, which is interesting to come out for like winter time because I feel like this is a very summery. I'm gonna use, I think the purple one. And this is called, I don't see a shade name on here, but it's the purple one. And it's like a pastel purple. I'm gonna use this on my lower lash line just for a pop of color. This glides on so smoothly. I'm going to see if I take it in my waterline what that looks like. It's pretty cool. It's kind of, it's like brightening and it's also a nice contrast. All right, I'm going to throw on some eyeliner and I'll be right back. 
All right, I just went in with my Maybelline Gel Studio Liner, and now let's go with mascara. I have four mascaras to try, so I'm just gonna pick two to try in this video that I'm most excited for, but I wanna mention all of them. The first is the new L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is Muir Balm, so this is one of the ones I'm really intrigued to try. The next is the new Maybelline Curl Bounce Mascara. This is the other one I think I'm gonna try. Next is Revlon So Fierce Eyes Wide Open. I'll play around with this one in the future. And then the other is a new Essence Hello Good Stuff Volume Mascara from that same line as the primer. So those are four new launches, but like I said, I've only got two eyes, so I'm gonna go in with the two that I feel like I might like the most, starting with this new L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Ooh, this wand looks very promising. All right, so I'm gonna go in on this eye with the L'Oreal one. This is looking good. Doesn't take me more than a few swipes to tell whether or not a mascara is gonna work for me. And I can tell that this one is headed in the right direction. And I would say some of my absolute favorite mascaras are L'Oreal, so I'm not surprised. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, thumbs up from me. It is rare for me to love mascaras and I just fell in love with the new Milani one and now I am quickly falling in love with this one. It is buildable, it is volumizing, it's curling, it is doing all the things you want a mascara to do. And the more you put on, the better it gets. This is impressive. All right, first impression, I'm really impressed by that. All right, let's see if Maybelline can stack up to this one because I don't know that I can be more impressed than I just was. This is the Maybelline Colossal Curl Bounce, so it sounds promising. Mm. This wand does not look like my kind of wand. Let me see if the Revlon wand looks more promising because I may just skip over to this one if I think I might like it better. Ooh, okay, we're gonna abandon Maybelline and go with Revlon because this wand looks more promising and so does the formula. So let's put this one over on this side. It applies quite a bit of product because of the way that the wand is shaped, there's like a curve to it and anywhere that the wand is flat, it just kind of straight up applies the product without any bristles. And then the, where the bristles are kind of blended out. So you almost have to move the wand around for it to be even, but I like the consistency. It's a thicker formula. I can see how this would hold a curl well, but I don't love how I'm having to kind of manipulate the wand to basically apply the product and then go back over that spot with another part of the wand where I brush it out so it's not too clumpy. Okay, so really decent formula on this one. This is the first Revlon mascara I've tried in a while that I really like, but the wand is kind of weird. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the Hello Cool Stuff on top of the L'Oreal and the Maybelline on top of the Revlon and just kind of see, based off of how it layers on other mascaras, if I see any potential. So this is the Hello Good Stuff by Essence. Really dry formula, which is what I like and it layers really nicely over this one at least. But to be fair, it had a really good base to start because I love that L'Oreal one. But it's definitely amping up the length and the curl. Potential here, definite potential. All right, and then let's see this Maybelline one. I'm sorry, I can't test all of them. I will keep you posted if I fall deeply in love with any of these other than the L'Oreal. This one, this wand is not Usually when I see a wand like this, I don't even try it because I just know it's not gonna be for me. It's decent, but I don't see myself loving this one. All right, so out of the four mascaras, we have a very clear winner. All right, so I'm just gonna remove this balm that I have on right now, and let's go in with the new lip products. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my Milani lip liner. All right, we've got two new lip products to try. The first is the Glow Paradise Balm in Lipstick. This instantly hydrates and nurtures the lips for a pout that feels softer. This claims to be a cushiony balm with 92% natural origin ingredients, providing a hydrating flush of color for lips so healthy that they glow. All right, so I got mine in the shade 110, which is Pastel Exhalation. This is really beautiful. L'Oreal lipsticks rarely do me wrong, so we'll see if we love this one too. Oh yeah. That is stunning. It reminds me of that new um, CoverGirl one that's like a lip gloss slash a lipstick in one, but this color is everything, especially with this lip liner. 
yes. So much yes to this. It has kind of the standard L'Oreal lipstick smell, but I love the packaging and I love this lipstick. That is so beautiful. That is so stunning. All right, and the other one I'm just gonna layer right on top. I love every single lip product that they have released in this packaging, so I'm expecting to love this. It's the Glow in Paradise Lip in Balm Gloss. I got mine in the shade Blissful Blush. I'm gonna layer this gloss right on top. Oh, oh my God. Oh yes. Okay, L'Oreal. We have a clear winner in terms of a brand in this video. You guys, I'm so glad this video turned around. I was like, we were going down a really dark hole there for a minute and then we started turning things around. All right, and then last but not least, I have this Revlon Lock-On Setting Mist. This is part of that same line. Go ahead and test this mister. Ooh, nice even mist. It has like a little paint shaker type of sound in there. And let me go ahead and set my face. Ooh, didn't leave splotches all over my face. So I will let you know down in the comments how everything wears throughout the day because evening check-ins are hard with two little ones to get to bed. As a quick recap of what I highly recommend, you already know these lip products by L'Oreal, 10 out of 10 if you like moisturizing products with pigment. These are must-haves. These are gonna go viral, they're gonna sell out. I said that about the Milani mascara and it's going viral and selling out. Get your hands on this mascara. Yes, yes, yes to this. I'm impressed by this brow product. I think it's really cool, really innovative. I love these Lottie London lip masks and I was impressed by this blush as well. I think this Lottie London gel liner is really cool. It looks really good in the waterline. I think it's a nice pop of color. And then I would say everything else I'm kind of like meh about. I liked the eyeshadow palette, I didn't love it. I think it came out really pretty, but I was missing some colors for me. Um, in terms of absolute no's, I would say this concealer burned my eyes for some reason, and this foundation just did not do it for me. It was not flattering on my skin, and I honestly can't wait to take it off. But I'm going to play around a little bit more with the primers, with foundations that I know that I like. But some definite losers, some definite winners in this video. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I'll keep you posted on any of the products if I change my mind or if they grow on me. But definitely some standouts and some definite no's. So hopefully you've got some more direction if you've been eyeing these new releases. But thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next one.